Tyler for one, my name is Joshua Wiggins, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool visual echo effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So you can see right here, it creates this really cool visual echo and really cool trippy effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Let's go ahead and just disable the top clip right here, and let's focus on the main clip or the original clip. So let's go ahead and play it right here. As you can see, there already is a little bit of visual echo. If you watch uh, Saquon Barkley run, you can see there already is a little bit of lag and already a little bit of visual echo. That's because Final Cut Pro 10 already has an effect called visual echo. So you want to go down to the effects panel, go down to tiling, and as you can see right here, visual echo. So Final Cut Pro already offers a visual echo effect. As you can see right here, I just turned the mount to 100% and I turned the duration to 0.3. So I basically just completely increased and maxed out the settings for the visual echo effect. And for some people, this echo effect might actually be good enough. You might not want to add the extra layer right here and this might look good for you. And if, that's, and if that is the case, then that's, that's perfect. But I wanna go ahead and kind of give you a little bit more of a visual um, trippy effect if this is not enough kind of visual echo for you so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and hold down option for the original right here and as you can see right here here is a copy so it's literally the exact um, same clip all I did was just copy and paste it and put it on top. Now this clip right here also has the visual echo because it is a copy of the original. However, what I did was I turned the opacity down. As you can see right here, I just messed with the opacity and I turned the opacity to 60. So that's just what I did in terms of the opacity settings. What I also did was I scaled it up. So the original clip right here was at 123, this clip is scaled to 145%. So I, I increased it a little bit, I messed with the opacity, and then as you can see right here, I also messed with the position. Now I offset the position a little bit um, to the right, you can offset a little bit to the left, you could go ahead and not mess with the position and just have it centered. It just depends on what look you want to go for, but those are basically the settings for this really cool visual echo effect. Here's the original clip with the actual visual echo effect applied onto it, and then this top clip also has uh, the visual echo effect. It is a copy of the original clip, but I messed with the opacity, I changed the opacity to 60%, I increased the scale to 145%, and then I messed with the position and offset the position to the right. That's basically how I created this really cool, interesting visual echo effect. You can go ahead and kind of put your own spin or your own twist on this effect, but it's definitely a really cool and interesting effect that you can go ahead and apply to your clips and it definitely creates this really cool trippy effect so I definitely um, encourage you to go ahead and try this out and kind of mess with it and figure out what looks good um, for you. Those are just my settings so your you the way you do it could be completely different from how I do it but those are just how I those are the settings and that's just how I created the effect so go ahead and put your own creative twist on it, your own creative spin on it and just basically go ahead and, and leave it to your own imagination. But that's how you create this really cool visual echo effect effect. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every single day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. I also have a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 100 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.